So welcome to the video that you guys are the most excited about. This is the cost breakdown of my Stage 3 IS-20 Octavia. The list is pretty long. The bill is also pretty long. And grab some popcorn or some snacks and yeah, let's get to it. So starting off, let's talk about how much I spent on buying this car. So this is a 2015 style variant of the Octavia TSI, finished in lovely magic black color. And I've spent 8.5 lakh rupees on buying this car. I think it's a pretty good deal because the car also came with a couple of mods which I think are really, really nice. So I'll get to those mods in just a second. But let's talk about the things that I have personally spent money on. Starting off is the IS-20 Turbo, the thing that the whole build is based around. Uh, a little story behind the Turbo, I'm pretty sure if you watched the episode where we installed it, you already know about it, but let me just tell you the story again. So this particular Turbo I've driven multiple times before. If you remember a couple of years ago, we did a video on a Stage 2 VRS245. It was built by mechanics, in fact it was Anirudh's car and it was running a stage 2 setup at the time. So that IS-20 Turbo, I have driven in that car. Then Anirudh sold that Turbo to another build that they did, which was this white uh, 1.8 TSI. We've made a video on that car as well. It was the car with the fancy carbon fiber steering wheel and all of that stuff. Uh, and the virtual cluster, of course. And that car, uh, I've also driven. And finally, he sold that turbo. He upgraded to a bigger Gar Garrett Powermax turbo. And now that IS-20 turbo is in my car. So that IS-20 turbo cost me 50,000 rupees. Usually, IS-20 turbo comes for roughly around 70 to 80,000. So I got a pretty good deal because uh, that person was a really good friend of mine. So I got that turbo for 50,000. Second upgrade that I did was the VRS245 brakes. Now, the, uh, the brakes are basically categorized into three different things that I've spent money on. Let's start off with the thing uh, which is the most expensive in this list in terms of brakes. That is the calipers. I spent a total of 40,000 rupees on the calipers and the calipers are also divided into three different things. The caliper itself, the caliper carrier, and the steel braided lines. So all three things cost me 40,000 rupees. Second are the discs. I bought brand new discs uh, from Skoda itself. So that cost me 17,000 rupees. And the next thing was the pads. Again, brand new pads, VRS 245 pads. And that cost me 5,700 rupees for a pair, which is quite reasonable in my opinion. The third thing that I spent money on were these lovely looking VRS 245 wheels. Now in the start, if you remember, I didn't really like them, but over time, I think so, they look really badass now. So the wheels are by far, no, actually, the wheels are the third most expensive thing that I've spent money on. And those cost me 75,000 rupees. And I sold my old wheels. If you remember, I had those fake replica AME wheels. I sold those for 15,000 rupees. And I also sold my old braking system, stock Octavia braking system for uh, 40,000 rupees. So technically net net, the VRS 245 brakes cost me, just one second, I'll have to do some calculations. Twenty two thousand seven hundred is technically what the brakes costed me, and my old wheels went for fifteen thousand. I bought the VRS two four five wheels for seventy five thousand. So remove fifteen from seventy five. Technically, the VRS two four five wheels cost me only sixty thousand rupees, which is a pretty good deal in my opinion. Next up is the APR coils. Those cost me twenty thousand rupees. You can't really sell coils used, so doesn't really matter. APR coils cost twenty thousand rupees. Next up is the Dark Side Developments Intercooler. Now that thing cost me a whopping 88,000 rupees. And don't get me wrong, all intercooler upgrades for the E888 Gen 3 are pretty, pretty expensive. In fact, I would like to say that Dark Side Developments has a relatively affordable uh, intercooler solution for the car. Uh, DO88 or Integrated Engineering are far more expensive. And in fact, I like the Dark Side Developments. I see. Uh, more because well, it's of course pocket friendly and it looks super badass with the blacked out finish. The uh, sixth thing that I bought was the Piper Cross intake, carbon fiber intake. 
that cost me 46000 rupees and i have to say money well spent i love myself a really good looking intake this one looks really good sounds really good and of course it's finished in carbon fiber so in my eyes it was a must have mod uh, for this build then of course comes the stainless steel custom made downpipe now this downpipe i did not make from ias performance it was a downpipe that mechanics had uh, in stock with them so that cost me 35000 rupees and last but definitely not the least is the venom performance ecu and tcu tune by far the most expensive thing that i've spent my money on but again the most important because if you don't have a good tuner backing up your car anything can go wrong and i'm blessed to have someone like venom performance backing up a build like this and that cost me a combined of 90000 rupees both ecu and tcu combined so 45000 for the ecu 45000 for the tcu if you want to say it like that so definitely money well spent because this tune as you saw it is very very potent and yeah the car is running fantastic i'm really really happy with the tune and yeah i think so a very very important thing to have a good tuner backing you up and last but not least is the labor charges for a build like this and labor is not cheap and it cost me 35000 rupees in labor still pretty affordable uh but yeah the grand total for all of the things that i have spent money on comes down to 441700 of course minus the things that i have sold i also sold my is12 turbo for 20000 rupees so 441700 and let's minus the amount of money that i've gotten back from selling some used parts so let's do that math right now so technically i have spent 366700 to build this car now let's get to the part where i did not spend any money and the mods came with the car so i got a vrs245 exhaust system with the car that cost 1 lakh rupees if you go to buy it from skoda new then i of course have these vrs bumpers now these are not original vrs bumpers because the mark 3 pre facelift technically didn't come to india so i had to order so the previous owner ordered them from somewhere and right now in the market that cost 80000 rupees including fitment paint and all of that stuff so 80000 rupees for that uh, and including of course the diffuser at the rear then i have vrs245 hubs at the rear so the hubs at the rear are completely different so i can widen the track a little bit so those hubs if you go to buy them new from skoda cost 72000 rupees that is absolutely insane next up are the eurospec springs those cost a cool 38000 rupees then you have the very important rtmg race clutch for the dq200 gearbox <clears throat> that cost 1 lakh 70000 rupees that is insane then come the cobra spacers that i'm running on the car they're going to be switched out for gravity spacers very very soon but still those cost 14000 rupees and last but not least are the peak mu braces now i'm not really sure as to how much peak mu charges for those braces but if i have the updated price i'll put it over here somewhere but usually the price for such a brace in the market is 10000 rupees so let me just come back and do the math and i'll tell you the final figures that i've spent on the car so the grand total of all of the mods that are currently on the car comes to 9 lakh 50700 rupees now don't get me wrong that is not cheap but considering that you're getting a 300 plus hp car in under 20 lakh rupees that can run like this i think so that's a pretty good deal especially in the fact that you can buy a used octavia tsi for anywhere under 10 lakh rupees very easily nowadays especially the pre facelift yeah a pretty good deal in my opinion of course all of the aesthetic mods that i'm running wheels and all of that stuff is not really needed of course a good set of tires is what i recommend but uh, some of the things that i've done in this car can obviously be skipped over but if you want a car built up to my spec currently you have to spend 9 lakh 50000 rupees for sure and if you add it to the cost of the car it's 18 lakh 700 rupees yep pretty expensive i know but again this car is very potent it's very very fast i mean i don't think there is another car under 
20 lakh rupees that can perform like this car does bar let's say like a 530d or a gti in that sense so i think so this is a very good deal for a car under 20 lakh rupees of course you don't have to go this extreme on a build like this this is of course a stage 3 build stage 2 builds also are very very fast in that sense and yeah i think so that's it this is the last episode of this series season one of project octavia is done now i'm gonna sit back for a couple of months save up some money and then maybe we'll start shooting season two for this car season two might not be as crazy as season one with all of the problems that we faced with the car and all of that stuff and of course in this list i have not mentioned the maintenance cost of the car you know uh, the water pump of this car was changed uh, a lot of small things here and there have been done on the car over time which of uh, which of course hasn't been mentioned in this list and that is something that you guys need to keep in mind because so a tuned car is not going to be the same to maintain as a stock car so please do keep that in mind it's not going to be as reliable although i have faced basically no reliability issues with this car as such yet so yeah definitely a really really amazing build in my opinion and it has come a long way it has taken us some time to you know perfect this build because especially with the stage 3 setup it takes some time to perfect some stuff and i have been blessed that i've been working with a garage like mechanics automotive and a tuner like uh, uh, venom performance and of course support from dark side developments piper cross n1 racing n uh, square auto tech uh, you know a lot of really really amazing garages people uh, over the time of this build and i'm really happy that the build turned out the way it did because now i'm really happy with the build it's running really nicely i'm using it daily almost and yeah it's a very very nice build so stay tuned for season two follow us on instagram subscribe to the channel and fingers crossed season two will be out very very soon so yeah thank you so much for watching